how hard things do do. So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Take care of yourself, doo doo. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Well, well. So the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret. Apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? Something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, it wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course. Let's go. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. 
Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drama victims can be very awfully to hear that. Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Excellent fool!
Give it to me straight. No sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Reverend Nathaniel Pastori. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Human. Wrong body type. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. This isn't it. Human. Wrong body type. Let's keep looking. It's gotta be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else.
amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard, right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons, we have a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Wright, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well. Speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver... Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave 
via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Bandits can't go out in the streets no more. Yes. At least the father didn't used to kill women. Fool of foul of the king of beggars. You get no mercy no matter who you are. <laughs> what happened here? You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? <laughs> Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. No ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I... Uh... Cost an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, are you a tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles. Little speeded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Oh, 
fucking hell? What was that for? For everything. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sick me hounds on you. Molly, Strega, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit you stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on then. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft! Even I'm scared of them! Better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. Soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a meat or is his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, Blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claimed not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleak orphans in the street a wife birth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Maybe they care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nah. Twas Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, "Tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs.
Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? It's not even peaked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Molitoli. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Whit them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, when the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Oh. Watch it, Tram. No big lad's not your stomping ground. Hey, handsome. See what he does. Human. Priscilla's. Listen. Kill him. Gotta get around him.
think you'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Whoa, heads ringing. A brazier. This time of year? I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Brazier, this time of year? I know that smell. Formaldehyde.